Welcome to another lighting tutorial on our outdoor lighting calculation tool. In this episode, we'll demonstrate how to use this tool to create an ISO foot candle plot. It's common for many outdoor lighting products to include ISO foot candle plots. These plots graphically represent a specific luminaire's lighting pattern, utilizing contour lines to show various foot candle levels on a horizontal surface. Think about this as the shape and intensity of light being produced. One downside is these are for very specific products at very specific mounting heights, and if you want to use a different lumen package or mount at a different height, your results will vary. Generally speaking, as your lumens are decreased, your light intensity decreases. As your lumen packages are increased, your light intensity also increases. There's also a relationship between mounting height, light intensity, and coverage area. As your mounting height decreases, light intensity increases, and coverage area shrinks. As your mounting height increases, light intensity decreases, and your coverage area widens. The example on the spec sheet shows this product at a 25 foot mounting height, and we would achieve 13 foot candle maximum. If I were to reduce that to 20 feet, my maximum increases. If I were to increase the mounting height from 25 to 30 feet, my maximum decreases. Also note the coverage area widens as my mounting height increases. In many instances, this might be enough insight to make a product selection. But in cases where a specific ISO foot candle plot is required, our outdoor lighting calculation tool can help. Okay, we are now in our outdoor lighting calculation tool. And the first thing we're gonna do is go to our Luminaire tab and under Luminaire, we will select a file. The spec sheet we looked at is using this product, the 29,000 lumen product at a 25 foot mounting height. Let's assume for our example, we have a 20 foot mounting height and we're interested in maybe what the 22,000 lumen version of that product might do at that mounting height. So as we select that product, the program will update to reflect the, the change in, in product selection. And then once that occurs, we're gonna go to the calculation and results tab. And again, this is where most of the work gets done. And we will select a single arm mount in terms of the number of fixtures and the orientations of the product, it's going to be a single unit. Now when this gets placed, it's going to be placed uh, pointing to the right. And if, so, if, if you prefer not to have that, you can rotate this orientation uh, by clicking that button. This would just be a stylic, stylistic preference. Here we can see the pole, here we can see the arm, and here is the luminaire itself. Next, we're going to change the height we said we had a 20 foot mounting height so we want to fix this so this does not float and as this begins to update um, we essentially will have our iso foot candle plot now under the illuminance criteria you'll notice that our minimum here is 0.2 that's also reflected in what's the minimum shown on the iso foot candle plot so if we wanted something lower than 0.2 um, like 0.1 for example we can actually enter that value. And what happens is you'll see this expand a bit as it gets updated. And now we're reflecting a 0.1 foot candle minimum within the ISO foot candle plot. Basically we have what we need here. We do, we do have some mins and averages and maxes. These really don't have a lot of value when we're just looking at a single luminaire. But stylistically we can go to the displays tab and we can turn off the color if we want. Again, this would be just personal preference whether you want that on or off. There is a minimum shown and a maximum shown in an ISO foot candle plot. Not a whole lot of value for that, so we can turn those off. We can also turn off the aisle width. Now the other thing we can do is we can put some values if we're interested in a value that's not shown, we can have that added. So you won't be able to just add a single value. You'll have to kind of put in everything that you want if you choose to use this field. So we're gonna put in three and then we're gonna repeat the one and the 0.5 and the point 0.2 and the point 0.1 and as we do that it's going to update the uh, ISO foot candle plot that we've created to include all of those different values. So now we have at a 20 foot mounting height using the 22,000 lumen type 3 product an ISO foot candle plot. Here it's telling us laterally to the right of the pole we get go out to about 95 feet and that's where our point 0.1 foot candle will end. Doesn't mean we get that everywhere, right? There's some areas within that 95 feet where we're not achieving that value, but that's the maximum length that that value is achieved. And then to the left of the pole, it's 87 feet. And then to the front of the pole, 60 feet. And then behind the pole, 48 feet. 
So that's how you create an ISO foot candle plot using your outdoor lighting calculation tool. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.